Welcome to growing your own food in your own backyard. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button. This video is about using apples to force pineapples to fruit. My pineapple plant is now two years old, growing in zone 5B. Research has shown that the larger the pineapple plant is when it flowers, the larger the potential fruit produced. Now, once a pineapple plant has 30 leaves on it, it can be forced into bloom by surrounding it with ethylene gas, which is a potent plant hormone. So I counted approximately close to 30 um, leaves or on the plant. So I think with it being two years old, a large plant and approximately 30 leaves, I may be able to produce a large fruit. So now what I need to do is I need to put pieces of rotten apples fruit in the center of the pineapple plant and adjacent to the leaf axle and cover it with a plastic bag. So let me go ahead and start that right now. So I've already cut up pieces of rotten pineapple, excuse me, uh, pieces of rotten apples. And I'm gonna go ahead and start putting them inside the plant. Put some on the leaf axle. I'll put one right here. That's the leaf axle. We'll put one right here. That's the leaf axle. And um, here's another leaf axle. I'll stick that there. And then this one, I'm gonna push down further in the center. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and put a, a little more around the leaf axle and then I'll put one in the soil. Okay, so now what I have done is attempted to force this pineapple plant to bloom because now it's going to be surrounded with an ethylene gas that the rotten apples are going to release. And once they start releasing this gas, hopefully it will send that ethylene gas in the center of the pineapple plant and stimulate it to start blooming. So let me go get the plastic bag and put it around the plant. It took um, some time looking for a big bag to cover this large pineapple plant. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the large bag over the plant like this. I don't want to break the leaves, so I need to be really careful. Okay. So I have the bag now over the plant. Now, keep in mind, I'm gonna have to, keep in mind, I'm gonna have to take this plant indoors because I didn't have enough room where under my grow light, where, which is just next to the table where my grow light is to film this video. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the bottom of this bag like this. I don't want to break the leaves on this bag. So I'm just going to pull and I'm just going to pretty much tuck it under this plant stand just like this. Just tuck it under the plant stand just like that in order to um, make sure that I've got it concealed so the ethylene gas is not released. So as you can see, this is a method that pineapple farms are using. They don't put bags over the pineapple plant, but they are spraying ethylene gas 
over the crops so the pineapple plants all fruit at the same time. So the ethylene gas is being used by professional pineapple growers, but um, they're using a, a, a synthetic spray. In this particular case, I'm using something a little more natural. I will keep the bag covered over this, plant, over this um, pineapple plant for about a week to two weeks. I will keep it out of direct sunlight, so I'm gonna set it off to the side of my grow light. The bag can be removed after a week or two and I'll just resume the normal care of the bag. Hopefully a flower spike should begin forming in two months once the flower spike has completed its development. A fruit will form on top of it. Three months later when the blossoms, excuse me, uh, three months later when the bottom half of the fruit is golden, it's ready to uh, pick. So this is my first time trying to grow a pineapple plant in a northern climate in zone 5b. Check out my playlist of where I've done a number of videos on growing pineapple plants in the northern climate in zone 5b and in my previous video when I was doing an update on all three of my pineapple plants and I was ready to bring them indoors because our weather was changing I said that I was going to bring you along and try this experiment and see if I can force fruit on this pineapple plant. So we shall see and I will keep you posted on how well I'm doing. If I'm able to produce a fruit, this is going to be a remarkable accomplishment. And it's going to be a testament that just because we live in zone 5B in a northern climate doesn't mean we can't have fresh pineapple. So thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button.